Hey everybody, this is Matt. I'm a senior level designer at Mimimi. And today I will show you how to do some basic modifications uh, with our latest mod patch for Shadow Gambit the Curse Crew. I will show you where to find our modding tools, how you can delete or change existing guards, how you can spawn in new guards and how you move them around and um, define their routines, how you can create simple objectives to finish a mission, how you can add a usable as an objective, and in the end how to export the modification and share it with your friends or other people from the community. So, in order to start modding you're gonna go to the world map and choose whatever location you wish. Um, in my case I'm gonna use the new Crockberry. It's a very small map um, and with the latest patch there came the treasure hunt missions and these missions basically are a very r raw um, setup of our locations. So this means there's only the, the the usual setups that are always in place. There's no specific mission playing here and you can choose if you want to start the location day or night. In our case we want to go with day and we're just gonna hit play. So once the mission loaded you're gonna press continue. There's no briefing since it's a treasure hunt and we're going to zoom in and figure out what we want to do. So I'm going to show you how you can set up a very basic mission where you have to get to a usable, then kill a target and then kill another target. And we also want to adjust existing enemies as well as create a new enemy setup. So first of all we're going to have um, a usable and we want to place it here at this spot and we want to adjust this whole uh, guard setup here and therefore we have to clean up the setup first. So in order to do that you have to activate the dev options and we're gonna hit the escape menu, go to options and then type this is not supported to which will get you a confirmation mes message that the dev options are now true. You're gonna agree and go to the dev options. You're gonna go to the default tab and then toggle extra dev options to on. Make sure this is on. This allows you to have some uh, hotkeys that um, allow you to do certain things. There's tons of other options that you should check out because they are a lot of fun to play around with. Some are just showing diagnostics which is not that exciting. But have a look at it. I'm not going to cover them in this tutorial. So go back out and what we want to do now is to delete the setup by hovering the guards and hitting shift delete. This will execute them and delete them completely with also removing their bodies. Now we're going to place a usable that players can interact with and make it an ob objective. We bring up the modding tools by hitting the shortcut control shift alt m and then start modding. We're gonna select the spawn tab it should be pre-selected and then we're gonna choose a usable here, select it and place it with the right mouse button. For every object or character that, that is under the spawn tab, you can select them and move them around, you can rotate them and you can also, when you accidentally made them hover in the air, move them back on the ground by hitting T. Make always sure to use T as much as possible so that your uh, enemies and characters and objectives can always be reached by your player characters. So, after, w after we place this, um, we're gonna make it an objective by scrolling down to objectives, hitting use, selecting use and then clicking on add, which will update our objectives. You can bring them up with B and you see there's a use chest one objective. Great. Now we obviously want to add some guards and bring up the uh, modding tools again and gonna scroll up to the enemy enemies and we're gonna choose a freezer of course which is the prognosticar in our game he's a very cool enemy and he's looking upwards like 
here. He's gonna cover the chest and some space around here. And then we're going to add a acolyte, a female acolyte. We're gonna place her around here. And she will look down there. We're gonna make sure to press T. And she's covering now the chest. And she's also covering the prognostic car. Yeah, so I think we need some more guards. We're gonna make him an official. Placing him with the right mouse button. And once we have done that, we're gonna switch to the routines tab. And then add waypoint after last. Or just hitting the right mouse button wherever we like to add another waypoint for him. So now he has two waypoints and one, what we want the guard to do is always uh, run from the first waypoint to the last waypoint and then vice versa. We're going to hit this ping pong routine and now if we were to just make a move we will gonna ping pong between those two waypoints. Of course we want to uh, make him move a little uh, longer distance so we're going to make him move here and here, and here, and here. And I think it's okay. We're gonna just make him look here. Make sure you um, move the arrow of the waypoint in the direction you want him to look. And you can also adjust his look duration. So he doesn't just stand there for one second, but for five seconds, for example. And also make sure that we have a look duration at his waypoint down here. And also choose five seconds and that's about it so we place this guard that is now moving around and now I want to add a few more guards to make him move I'm gonna add a sharpshooter here let's see if he can look down here great I'm gonna turn him and now she's looking down on the whole setup and can see this guard. And we're going to add another guard over here that is also looking at the chest and we're gonna make him a acolyte. Great. Now what we also can do is add environment kills and for example we have a toxic plant that we're gonna put here this plant uh, explodes when you um, set it up when a NPC moves by and that's where we're going to add uh, another NPC this is moving from here to here so let's quickly do this also just a simple acolyte you can make him start here at a waypoint that is moving through here and here and then he's going to look over there and it's also a ping pong guard we're gonna make him wait not as long just two seconds at each waypoint and that's about it so our first setup is done we set up our objective and next we're going to add a target I'm going to place a target here gonna spawn a special type of commissarius he has just a different uh, visual representation and I'm gonna make him move here and because this guard that is already in the level moved here I will simply change his routine by selecting selecting him selecting one of his waypoints uh, excuse me I didn't select this waypoint But as you can see, I can adjust select the uh, existing guards as well. So now I'm going to hit save because I don't want to redo everything I just did. This is very crucial, so always make sure to save so you can load back to a state um, uh, when you did something wrong or did a mistake and you want to keep that um, because we don't, obviously we don't have a undo and redo function here. And we're gonna make him a kill objective. 
we're gonna select kill and hit add now this objective is not displayed because this will only display once we um, finish this objective and this is how the automatic objective system works um, if you want to display more objectives at the same time you can do that by custom scripting but i'm not gonna cover that so great and uh, now we're gonna add uh, another um, target again we're gonna put a confessor i will put him over here and he's overseeing things at the pier and i think he's very easily reachable so i want to add an additional guard that is covering him so it's not as easy and players have to do a little bit more work to get to him i have to make him an objective as well I'm gonna select kill and add while he is selected. Perfect. Now all we have to do is go to export and export our mod so others can play it. We're gonna name it simple objectives. And we're gonna add a description. And we're gonna hit export. When exporting what happens is the game just makes a save file and creates a folder uh, under your save game folders uh, named mods and now you can go and abandon this mission and go to the world map and down here is the newly created mods island we're gonna choose it and here we go we see our simple objectives added they are not overridden so always make sure you have a, a good description and also make sure you don't have the same uh, mod names because we, we don't support overriding them great and uh, this is also how players gonna see it you can share the save file with anyone you wish and they just have to uh, put it into a mod folder under the save folder and they can play your mod you can also choose um, how uh, which characters anyone can bring to your mod or which characters are, allow are allowed and in my case since um, I didn't ch choose a landing spot beforehand players can freely select what uh, who they want to bring with to the mission but if I were to pre-select them and then export the mod uh, players wouldn't be able to choose anymore and would have to play just with Link which in my opinion is a very cool thing so you can add like very cool challenges to the game and make players uh, use specific characters and you can very specifically design setups around that which is a very great thing to do great i'm gonna open this chest here and as you can see it got activated and now i have this target here i'm gonna kill this target and raise the alarm they don't see me because i'm invisible and the second target gets activated and I'm gonna kill him as well gonna raise the alarm again but it doesn't matter and all objectives are done and now the exit points automatically activated and players can choose which exit point they want and finish the mission So that's about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this basic tutorial. Now create your own mods and have fun. See you.